Hello guys, welcome to TechBuzz. There can be times that you shot a video but later realize that you don't want to reveal the identity of the person because he doesn't like it. Or there are other details in your video like car number plate, credit card details which you want to keep anonymous. But if the object is a still or non-moving object then it's easy to blur. But what if you want to blur a face of a moving person? That will take a lot of time in editing apps as it requires frame to frame editing. So this can be done easily using AVC Labs Video Blur AI app. This app can anonymize unwanted objects such as people's face, logos, license plate with the help of deep machine learning vision recognition feature. Currently it's available only for Windows PC. The link of the app is mentioned in the description below. You can check the details from the link and it's totally free to use for 30 days and you need to buy the license only after that. I'll mention the prices at the end of the video. So this is the user interface of the app. It's quite simple. We have the media selection box in the center. I would like to show you that even I am using the free 30 day trial version as it is showing register and purchase options. You can drag drop your videos over here or browse them manually whichever is easier for you. Once you have selected the video it will be displayed in the center. Below you have the option to blur all faces that are available in the video. Or you can use assign face option to select which faces to blur or not to blur. If you want to blur a particular object like number plate, debit card details. Then you can go to custom section, create a rectangular or circular selection on that particular thing that you want to blur. Then you have to select the blur type. But in this video, I'll select the face blur option. Even here you have the blur options like standard is mosaic blur, second is fade normal blur and third is custom textured blur. You can also add face blur and custom blur both at the same time using the add to task list button. To start the face tracking, you can do quick scan or full scan. But since quick scan takes less time, I'll keep this only. Now you have to enter the frame number so that it will scan a frame in every 10 frames. In simple words, the lower the number, the better will be the accuracy of scanning. Once done, click on OK. So the app is now scanning the video and it will track the number of faces in the video and their movements. So the scanning is complete and as you can see below, the app has detected couple of faces from the background as well. You can go through them and select as many faces as you want to blur. You can use all face option to blur them all or assign a particular face. I will just select the face of the boy who is in the front. Now I will select the blur type to normal face blur. If you want, you can browse for a particular texture or image that you want to put on the face so that it's fully anonymous. So the settings are done and now you have to assign the task by clicking on add task to list option. So as you can see, the face blur task has been added over here. So to start the blurring process, we will click on start processing. On the screen, you can see the blur output. Below you have the progress bar and frames covered. On the left you can see the time remaining and on the right you have the cancel option. It's showing around 1 hour on my laptop because it's a 12 year old Intel i3 laptop with no dedicated graphic card because my main workstation is a Mac OS and this app is not available for Mac till now. But still the AI blur thing is working on this old windows laptop. But new computers can process it much faster. The powerful the GPU and hardware of the PC the lesser will be the processing time. I have increased the speed of the video. So the process is complete, let's open the video folder and check the video. Even after being exported from free version, there is no watermark in the video which is rare. And as you can see it has perfectly applied the face blur and even after the movements it is able to track the person and maintain the blur quality with precision. And this is possible in just one click with the help of deep machine learning and artificial intelligence of this app. You can use this to blur multiple faces like 5 faces from a group of 10 as well. If you want to try out the AVC Labs Video Blur app, you can download it from the AVC Labs site. The link is mentioned in the description below. For first 30 days, it's completely free. But if you want to use for more time, you can buy monthly, quarterly, yearly or lifetime license. There are many options to choose from. So it's quite a value for money option. If you still have doubts regarding the AVC Labs Video Blur AI app, you can ask me in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, do hit the like button. Also don't forget to click the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get updates on our new video uploads. Also follow me on Instagram on techbuzz.insta page and techbuzz Facebook page. We will be back with another video soon. Till then, stay tuned.